I travel a lot for work. I don't necessarily get a ton of time to actually get out and practice. So this is something that I think I would institute in my game for sure, just to make it easy. You wanna get out on the golf course and have fun. Sit the club down and know like, okay, this is really comfortable for me. Right. That's all you can ask for. Welcome to the World of Wonder, and I have the great honor of having my good friend, Kara Dixon, on the World of Wonder channel. Welcome to my world. Thank you, Johnny. I'm excited to be in your world. And I'm very happy to have you here. So we're going to talk about some new stuff today. Okay. Um, we have a new line of golf clubs. We have the Big Bertha Reva, mm -hmm. and I have the 7-iron in my hand. And we're going to do some testing. We've never, we've never hit them before, or you've never hit them before. Nope. I've never seen them. I've heard of them. Very, okay. Very excited about it. We're going to kind of go through the full gamut here with you. You're my, what we call my testing, you're my robot, because mm. you're a pure ball striker. Yes. Okay. Yes, please write that down, everyone. So we're going to get some balls here. we got Chrome Soft X golf balls. That's what you play out in the field, from what I've been told, Kira. Yes. Here is the seven iron. Uh, what is typical seven iron distance for you? Uh... On a good day, about, yeah, just give me like uh, normal, about normal. 140. Okay, fair something enough. Something like that. Okay. So these would be considered, uh, the first thing, since we're looking at them for the first time, to your yeah. eye, how do they look? Like, what are you picking up there? So it definitely is a much wider base sure. than my regular... You have Apex uh, 21s. My regular Apex yep. irons. Definitely lighter. Okay. And a bit of a skinnier grip as well. Yep. Um, so I feel like I could do some damage I feel like you things. might be, this might be a nice yeah. set for you. Let's just hit some. Okay. Beautiful. There we go. Okay. That's my draw. So this is where some of this technology kind of kicks in. So let me just show you something here. So when you have this much tungsten on the bottom of mm -hmm. the golf club, which these have a lot of tungsten down low, when you hit it a little bit lower on the face, did you see how that kind of launched almost yeah. like how you would hit your apex like out of the middle? Yeah. So that's, we already know that these things are gonna help you get the ball in the air. Okay. Okay, and we're getting good ball speed and good carry out of these things, so we, there's definitely something to be excited about here uh, so far. There's so much to be excited about. There's a lot to be excited. Do you like, but just setting it down, like it's a, it's a, yeah, it's I, a, a, a set designed, or a, a line of clubs designed at women. Like, do you like the, the way they look, the I colors? Like, I like the fact that I feel like my setup is gonna be good no matter what. Yeah, yeah. The setup is so huge with, with any cl golf club, of course, but right. this feels like I'm not, questioning if I've got it correct or You're, not. It just feels like You got like kind of a good vibe, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's great. Okay, so the cool thing that we're seeing here is you've hit, you know, four oh, or five good. balls. This is kind of what I'm loving. Is you sort of hit, you hit a couple flush, you hit a couple thin, but if you look out there and I'm looking at the data, they all kind of live within one yeah. mile an hour ball speed. The carry and on the spin, they're all very in a, in a really nice tight little window. So. Which is great for me. I need which, is that which is amazing. So we know that they're forgiving, and we also know that you can hit shots with these. So it's, it's, a, it's a really cool iron set. Um, but now I want to try. We got a whole bag of stuff here. Where do you stand on hybrids? You like hybrids? I live for a hybrid. Give me a hybrid. I got a hybrid. Yeah. I am okay. oh, this pro is, hybrid, yeah. team hybrid. So I think a, everybody, no matter how good of a golfer you are, that's have a 24 hybrid in their degree bag. hybrid. That's got a little bit. The, the cool thing, once again, with the uh, Callaway hybrid, we have adjustability in that one, so we can mm. mess with the head a little bit, with the loft and the lie. Okay. Um, so let's see what this does. Okay. That hybrid looks amazing, by the way. This is very nice. All yeah. these clubs look amazing. Good swing. There we go. Add a, yep. Okay, we kind of love the hybrids. Yeah, we, we live. We really the love the hybrids. Okay, so that we're, we're kind of sold on that. Let's put that to the side here. Okay. Put it right there. We're going to get a, I saw a, like a five wood in here. Here we go. Five wood is good. This is the fun part about working for Callaway and doing these videos is they kind of just give you a bunch of clubs. <laughs> and it's like this you have all this stuff to try. But it's dangerous. I know. I could be here forever. This is kind of like where it gets really fun. This is where the gig gets really fun. Okay. This is a great gig. So do, do you play a five wood? I do. You yeah. do? Okay. I have a five hybrid, six hybrid, and then seven wood, five wood, three wood. The cool thing that they did with these two, with the fairway woods, like, for example, the five wood, this five wood has 21 degrees aloft, which is about two or three degrees more than your average five wood. So you know, they're taking into consideration getting the ball in the air with the right ball speed and all that stuff. So I, I kind of mm -hmm. love that the five wood is set up that way. So you should get good launch out of this. And, um, and it looks really nice when you looks set it amazing. down, too. Yeah, yeah we love there's the, the five wood. Well, you mashed that one. Oh, that's great. Okay, let's get one more of the five wood. 
We know we like this one. Boy, you might. I might take if this I was home. Selling, Sorry, guys. Someone's if I was gotta... selling you these golf clubs, <laughs> I'd feel real good. Someone's got to keep an eye on yeah. the Revas. Yeah. Reverse, Let's reverse. pretend we are at like 17 at Pebble during the Pro-Am. 17 at Pebble. Okay, I'm hitting my tee shot. One... You want a left pin or a right pin? We're going to do the middle flag. It's middle about 175 flag. for you guys for the AMs. Yeah. You're in the lead for the Pro-Am. you got to step yeah, up yeah, there yeah. and hit a good one. Oh, gosh. Justin Timberlake's like in front of you in the group in front of you. He's watching. Oh, boy. I can feel the adrenaline yeah. already. Oh, she just JT, watch it. out, watch out. Okay, I love it. Okay, now we're gonna get to the driver. Interesting story on the driver. So I don't wanna call it like a draw bias driver, but it's kind of like a help me hook it driver. It's got a little bit of weight in the heel, but they, they actually move the center of gravity a little forward, okay. which knocks the spin down, because people that slice it or slice, uh, swipe across it tend to overspin the ball. This one's gonna keep the spin down and it's got a little weight in the heel to kind of help, help you get that nice draw. Yeah. So well, I I've, play a natural draw. You kind of play a natural so draw. So you that's might, perfect for you me. might absolutely stripe this thing. Okay. So the, their way to helping people draw it is actually kind of a new idea, which is cool. I think that's and a- And why is that? Because when you within? make drivers draw bias or anti-slice, it's hard to mitigate the, the weight being in the heel, the ball wants to turn over, but typically everybody overspins it too. So you're, you're getting an over spinner and end trying to get the ball to go left. Okay. Pushing the center of gravity forward knocks the spin down and then putting a little weight in the heel. Now you have a driver that's launching with low spin and getting that a little bit of that right turn or that left turn, excuse me. So for right. you, it's just kind of like draw on command. I would love that, please. Yeah. Okay, Reva, let's see what you got here. Oh my word. Yeah, that's good. That's a little baby draw. Like if I said, okay, these are yours, take them home. Is this, yeah, is this yeah, where we're, you, we're going. You're we're going, we, you're putting them in the bag? Thank you for shopping at Callaway, we're, we're you're done. You're done. So if you had to send the people off with one message on Big Bertha Reva, mm. what would you say? Like if this was a, if people said you have one sentence, give me the, give me like the, the, the log line, the send off, what would it be? This is my elevator pitch for yeah. this? Okay, so for me, I, I travel a lot for work. I don't necessarily get a ton of time to actually get out and practice. So this is something that I think I would institute in my game for sure, just to make it easy. You wanna get out on the golf course and have fun. I'm not out there competing for millions of dollars. I'm out there just trying to have a great time with my friends and family, right. and with Johnny Wonder every once in a while. Of course. So to be able to make the game as easy as possible and to sit sit the club down and know like, okay, this is really comfortable for me. Right. That's all you can ask for. And you can hit all the shots that you need to. Exactly. I love it. And that, that's all I'm looking for out of the game of golf, so. That's Kara Dixon. Thanks, I'm Johnny Wonder. Uh, that's uh, Big Bertha Reva. We're out of here.